What do you get if you cross an action hero and a Super Nintendo? You get a big pile of f***ing shit. And that's why this game was never released. Steven Seagal is the final option. That's right. Steven Seagal is the final option. The game on the snares, sadly, never to be released. Listen to that amazing sound. So in we go. See what this game has planned for us. Your first target is Nanotech's underground munitions depot. Don't know why, don't know who Nanotech are, with no background information, press start. Underground storage area, target one, stage one. Oh my god! It's digitized Steven Seagal with those awesome moves. Slap! Now this game was unfinished. And as such, there are a number of unfinished bits and pieces, such as these terminal screens. Um, here stating, gives you context sensitive help. Press start. There is no help. There is no help on any of these terminal screens whatsoever. But I keep on trying them in the attempt that one day maybe one of them will show something useful. Every time you do uh, go back a screen or something like I just did, you will be presented with the same group of enemies. So I've just touched that button. Through the gate I go. I'm about to be attacked by a clipboard wielding maniac. Yeah, boy. So digitized uh, Steven Seagal. Does it get much better? Unfortunately, that's as good as it gets. All right, let's do this guy. You can't fight while either going north or south. Um, I shall demonstrate this as soon as I get rid of Red Hat. Here we go, press down, kick. No, you just end up sliding. And because I've gone off the screen, if I go back up the screen, I shall have to fight those two enemies once more. Let's dispose of them. And then I shall discuss the weapons. Yes, we have weapons as well. Come on. You must die. Look at that digital ponytail. Marvellous. And the digital jeans. Now, this game isn't finished. Never was. And as such, you can walk through obstacles. And here comes one of St Steven's uh, special moves. The jump. Boot this geezer. Right, dead. And there's another terminal. So I'm going to open it. Just to show you. There's nothing there. And back we go. Same character. Same music loop. Probably already stuck in your head. So here's one of the weapons. Oh, Christ. Accident. Must remember not to go near touch sensitive panel on wall. Right, weapon. Shooter. Pow. That's no good. Right, there we go. And jump, Stephen, with your tight, tight jeans. And there's another of the weapons. A knife, which is floating to my left. It is a floaty knife, unrestricted by the rules of gravity. So back I go. There's nothing up in this area. Um, so we have to backtrack and we have to walk through this uh, blockade here. It looks like a blockade. It's actually not, as you can see. So let's jump over here. Face some more of these criminal mechanics. Probably just rolled up for work that day. Not expecting to be uh, accosted by a slick back t-shirt wearing maniac. There's a button on the wall here. It does nothing. It is an aesthetic button. There's your throwing knife. Check this out. 
yeah. Because the game was unfinished, uh, you have unlimited ammo, which is useful. Um, there are only two types of bad guys that I've seen. Um, I've played a couple of levels on this. The first bad guy I just disposed of there, which is the mechanic, and the second bad guy is, of course, the scientist with the clipboard. He doesn't dispose of his clipboard when being battered by Mr. Seagal. He does jab you vigorously with a biro pen, though. Right, let's time this. I think, yep, there's a fella there. And you can't jump unless fella is dead. And there's my exit. Make a clean getaway. And that's level one done. Level two, or stage two, should I say, is more of tech magic's magical pile of dog crap. There's some ammo, which I can pick up for. Obviously, my... Uh, I can't pick it up at the moment, but... Um, I don't know why it's there. They've obviously put it there so you can replenish your stock, but they forgot to actually make sure your stock diminishes. Now check this for an unworldly bit of graphic. Are you walking through there? Above it? Over it? I don't know. Is it an optical illusion? Who knows? Knife did no harm. Give him a slap. Backhand. And that is pretty much the end of the game. This game was due for release in 1994, but obviously the public fell out of love a little bit with the lawman, Mr. Seagal, and uh, the game pretty much came to the ending that Mr. Seagal did there. Um, so this is another unfinished and unreleased game, and we'll be releasing plenty of these in the near future. So remember to keep it locked to the game shed for more retro gems. See you later.